One day, Moomin Papa came to the end of his memoirs, and Moomin Mama was cooking something special to celebrate. Listen carefully, Moomin Troll, my son, said Moomin Papa, for in this final chapter, I tell how I met your mother. Autumn came, and the gales began to howl around our lonely island. All of us lived in my home on the cliffs. I helped Hodgkins with his work, and the jockster smoked his pipe. We were very glad when the muddler and his wife, the Fuzzy, came to visit. Everything had been so dismal for so long because of the storms. The wind blew incessantly, at least 150 meters a second. Even our island ghost was subdued and quiet. Everything indoors was cozy, but I was seized by a strange and uneasy feeling. The sea seemed to be calling me outside. The house ghost howled. You'll catch cold. Tremble, you mortal. The forgotten bones will have their revenge. This house will collapse. And then I found the Mimble and all her children. The storm had blown away their home. Come with me, I said. There is plenty of room in our house on the cliff. Ahoy, shipmates, called Hodgkin. Come in and warm yourselves. But still the sea called me, and I turned a deaf ear to my friends and turned back into the storm. What made me defy the cold and the dark to struggle across the cliffs, I couldn't tell you. The sharp-edged waves came rolling in and crashed down and between them, I seemed to recognize something. Clinging to a spar, she came shooting with the surf. A moomin like myself, only beautiful. A moomin maiden. Suddenly she cried, save my handbag, oh, save my handbag. But you're holding on to it, I answered. Oh, glory be, she said, and dived into it for her powder compact. You're every bit as beautiful without powder, I said gallantly. And the moon shone down on the most enchanting moment I ever experienced. Now let me stop at the point when the most beautiful of Moomins came into my life, said Moomin Papa. Hurrah, said Moomin Troll. Papa rescued Mama. That was the best chapter of all, Papa. How you met Mama and came to Moomin Valley where I was born. My home is the most beautiful place in the whole world. <laughs>